warning 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 this is not a professional video it, it may contain background voices it may contain car noises it may contain the sound of nature hello everyone it's me Malaytin again and there's a car more everything is going on the road today and today I'm going to do a different video usually if you watch my other channel which is titled Malaytin I'll leave a link below I usually do comedy videos skits anything that makes you laugh but today I'm going to do a different video I'm going to do a review about the Shaw Academy for those who do not know about the Shaw Academy the Shaw Academy is a UK Institute that offers higher education and when I mean higher education I I mean vocational education, not higher education as in university level courses like that. The Shah Academy offers diploma level courses, basic courses like cooking or entrepreneurship and advanced diploma courses like advanced diploma in marketing. But first let me answer some questions that all of you are begging to hear. Who am I kidding? I'll answer that afterwards. First, let me give you my experience with the Shaw Academy, then I'll answer your questions and you can actually read the full review at my website. My website's name is www. Wait, it doesn't have a www. My website's name is malayteenager.com. I'll leave a link below with the article address and you can check that out if you feel bored about me talking. So first, I took two courses at the Shaw Academy, which are both marketing courses. I took the second course one year after finishing the first course. Both of them are the foundation diploma courses and uh, let me mention that before the new website came, the Shaw Academy was completely accredited by the NCFE. But now their basic foundation courses which are diploma only courses and courses which have just a title with no diploma or advanced diploma, those are accredited by the C CPD while their advanced courses which has the word advanced in them is accredited by the NCFE. So at my time, foundation courses were also accredited by the NCFB, so let me just give you the experience of both. For the first time I took the marketing course, it was actually nice, I mean, my lecture at that time, same lecture for the second course, second time, sorry. The first time he was hilarious, he was funny, he made the course enjoyable, but still it's very hard for those who have a short attention span, it's a one hour online class. Uh, I'll leave the technical details, I'll just, I'm just giving a brief intro on my experience. So basically the first course was fun, but the second time I took it, it was kind of boring since the same lecturer, but he became very strict because lots of his students began playing during the online classes and okay, I'm just go begging to go into technical stuff, so let's go into the technical stuff. The courses are delivered live through a web application program called Citrix. If you don't know what Citrix is, just search it online. And basically what this application does is it like records your monitor and it records your lecturer's monitor and you, you can like see your lecturer's monitor but at the same time the lecturer can also see your monitor. So I ask that you please don't do anything embarrassing as your lecturer can see it. I mean one time a person was like doing something very embarrassing and he called out that person's name and asked them to stop doing that. And there's also a chat box where you can type questions and ask the lecturer whatever you want and sometimes when he asks questions he demands that you also answer them, so if you don't answer them, he might call out your name. I think that the classes are delivered 6 to 7 BST time, Britain Standard Time is it? In Malaysian time, it's actually 2 AM to 3 AM, so I had a hell of a bad time. But depending on where you are, it might be even more late, so you might not be able to attend the lessons. And wait, let me give you the lesson schedule first. There are a total of four weeks in the course, and in each week, I mean uh, week one, you'll get two live lessons which may be delivered on Monday and Wednesday. Second week, Monday live lesson, Tuesday on-demand lesson, which means a lesson that you just view online, you don't have to go through the live process. And third lesson is, again, live lesson. Third week, same as first week. Fourth week, same as second week. Why did I do that with my fingers? I ask forgiveness for those who are actually seeking for a serious video since I actually like to make comedy puns jokes a lot so I'm really sorry. And if you're not able to attend the live lessons, you can actually view the recorded lesson at the Shaw Academy's website and then you have to like do an assignment they will release every week. You have to do that assignment to show that you actually watch the lesson because they do record your attendance and if you can't attend the live lessons, 
they need proof that you've used the lesson so they want you to do the assignment. If you don't do the assignment or you, if you don't attend the live lessons, you may be barred from the exam that is. Moving on to the final exam, which many of you have many questions. The final exam consists of 100 questions and I don't know how much time you have. Basically, I always use the word proctor in my videos and let me correct it. When I mean proctor, I mean that your browser activity will be monitored. No one will view you using a webcam. So you may carry notes in your hand or just keep notes somewhere and you may look at them but I discourage you from cheating but it's your choice if you want to cheat or not. I just want to say that someone in the room might be watching you. Now for questions. First question is the Shaw Academy accredited. Yes, the Shaw Academy is accredited. It's accredited by the NCFP and it's accredited by the CP. Second question is the Shaw Academy internationally recognized. Okay, you need to sit down for this if you're standing right now. If you're standing on the subway somewhere, just sit down for a second. Please. The Shaw Academy is recognized by the UK completely. If you go to an employer, you will get a job using the certificate. But if you're an international student, the recognition of the Shaw Academy will depend on your employer heavily. I mean, it's your employer's choice whether to recognize the qualification or not. I mean, in Malaysia, most employers are actually hard-headed and opinionated, so they won't even like search whether your certificate is recognized, does it have any value, they will just completely ignore it. For, they, they won't even try to recognize anything that's foreign. So it depends on your employer heavily. I mean, if, but I can say that it does have international value, but the person who you want to show that you have, that this thing has value, it highly depends on that person. So it, what I'm trying to say, it highly depends on your employer if you're going to use the cert for employment. Other than that, basic question, it does have international value, but the person you're going to give the certificate needs to know that it has international value. If you have more questions, you can leave the questions at my website. My website is www.malayteenager.com. Please cut the www. It doesn't have a www. So yeah, read the article for the full information. And I know that all of you are wondering about the price reduction that they have in Groupon. You know, the one where course prices are reduced 93 to 95%, I think. And yeah, those are also legit. I also bought the courses from Groupon and I actually thought it was going to be a scam, but it wasn't. And to my surprise, I still don't understand how they're able to like reduce the course price so much. But I also want to tell you that sometimes Groupons may not have that offer on, so Groupon only puts on that offer occasionally. But if you can't buy that course at discounted price right now, I recommend that you Click on the link below. It's a link given to me by the Shaw Academy. It allows you to purchase a course from them directly through them. I mean, you don't have to buy it through Groupon. And if you buy them through the Shaw Academy, it will have a PayPal payment window. So you can rest assured that the Shaw Academy won't cheat you and you can rest assured that I'm not a scammer. If you think that the PayPal window is also fake, then just Check the address bar if there's a green padlock. If there's a green padlock, and if you don't know what a green padlock means, search it on Google. But basically, a green padlock is like it has a security certificate, so it, there's no scamming. That's all for today's video, and it's time for me to fly away. That's what I usually do in my comedy videos. Malay team, time to fly. Fly, bye.